Look who I got. Ten thousand, buddy. Ten thousand people are subscribed to the channel. Did you know that? Look how big he is. Look how big he is. I haven't shown him in a while. I'll have to put up some footage of him. When I first showed him, he's a little little puppy. Not as small as when I first got him, though. Oh, he was tiny compared to this. When we first got Papa Limo, it was New Year's Eve. 2019. Going into 2020. And uh, this first day he came home. And our, our friends... Uh, who we, we made that video game with. How about this big husky, Onyx. Sweet dog. Uh, and he's huge, though, for a husky. He looks like a Malamute, you would think, because he's so big-bodied. And Papa Limo wasn't even as big as his head. <laughs> and you guys have seen pictures of Onyx if you watch my Instagram. I'll put a couple up. Um, but this boy's a little over a year now. In all his his corgi glory, and uh, I know this video is going to be kind of un unscripted, unformal. Uh, normally, I have like bullet points that I intend to go over, but I first want to start by saying thank you. And I know a lot of people have wanted to see this guy for a while. Um, sometimes, with a lot of stuff I'm shooting, it's very hard. But he's being calm right now, so that's a plus. When I first started YouTube, uh, seriously, you know, at first I put a couple videos up. I'd done some tutorials on video games for some friends, and then I eventually did a couple, like, contest entry small videos. And I decided I wanted to do more uh, fish content. I, I wanted to document my journey with fish. And a lot of it at first was, like, you know, new tank or new fish or why I found certain things cool. Then eventually I, I realized, like, I could pass on some of my knowledge, uh, whether it was about my passion for rainbow fish, uh, plant knowledge, and eventually you know, things like product reviews, because my, my career literally has me testing things all day long, or <laughs> managing tests in most days nowadays, uh, managing testers and that kind of stuff. So, what? <laughs> you getting restless? All right, I'll let you down. I gotta let him down. He's getting a little restless. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Let me film. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not going to edit much of this. Um, but I knew that I could spread my knowledge. And if people wanted to watch, that would be really cool. I, I originally hadn't even broke really 100 subscribers. You might hear him. He's all ramped up now. <laughs> Uh, I didn't break 100 subscribers until my friend and local club member, Alex from uh, Secret History, came to tour my house. And it was mostly a fun thing. I was going to help him with his YouTube channel, give him some fun content. And mostly he wanted to just come over and talk and, and, and check stuff out and have a little fun. And, uh, you know, that, that video basically doubled my audience in one channel. Both of our channels were ultra tiny. Not to say that they're not tiny still, but both of our channels were very tiny back then. Uh, he was just cresting, I think, a thousand at the time. And I was at like... I think I went from 100 to like 300 from his video. I've, I've got to hold this rope as he tug of wars or he'll start barking at me. <laughs> <laughs> he's a corgi. He's got to be the center of attention. So I'll fake it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I started doing more stuff. And eventually, Jimmy, uh, the editor of Aquarium Co-op, with his his channel at the time, uh, Swiskey, which now it's, it's changed. And uh, yeah, even the content he does has changed. Came over and, and shot everything at my place and told a story. What I love about Jimmy is that he uses his incredible artistic talent to tell stories. 
And I... From there, I really knew what I wanted to do on YouTube. I wanted to teach plants for profit. I wanted to show people why certain pieces of gear were good or bad or middle ground. What was wrong with them? Why some of the age-old wisdom of this is the king, there's no other, might be wrong. Or why it's right. Uh, I never thought... I would get to 10,000. I thought, you know, maybe in three years' time, I would be at, maybe I'll be at 1,000 or something like that, right? And it's it's crazy to me now to look back and think that three years of work is 10,000 subscribers. Uh, the, the You'll see some, some metrics come up on screen. Um, views and what watch time. I mean, I, I've looked at these and they, they change all the time. So I'll, I'll put this up during the edit, but to think that people have given me that much of their time, time is very, very precious to me. Uh, I don't get as much of it as I would certainly like uh, to do the things I want to do uh, between my career and time on YouTube and uh, spending, spending some <laughs> minimal time. <laughs> I wish it was a little more with dogs like Papa Limo, um, and of course my fish, I don't get as much time. So the fact that you folks have given me the amount of time you've given me, I've always considered a honor, blessing, pick the word that you feel fits best. Uh, curse? Who knows? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I always look at it positive, but somebody might look at it differently, right? What astounds me to this day is that the fish fam community is so kind, generous, warm, loving. I mean, this, uh, you know, I come from, uh, I, I, when I used to stream and do something like that, uh, doing gaming content, I come from the gaming sphere where it is, uh, 99 out of 100 people are a critic and only one person is like, I like what you did. <laughs> <laughs> where, like, Fish Fam, it's, it's so different. It's so much more constructive. It's, uh, it's like family, right? And in that, in that best way that we remember all the best things about our families or our times with our friends, uh, you know, that, that one time I, we did X, Y, Z, all those warm memories that populate the most of what we see in our lives, the things that really grip us the longest, influence us the longest. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So, what, uh, you know, what is it, what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Part of steadily reaching toward this milestone has been what has inspired me to work toward projects that are bigger, that can do more, that require me to like hire a developer to put things together, or um, you know, use my own my own personal resources because I, I I certainly don't make a killing on YouTube. Yes, yes, little man. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That little growl. <laughs> He's such a butt sometimes. <laughs> mostly because I want people to have the joy that I have when it comes to fish see him you can see him jerking he's, t he's strong <laughs> danger noodle I, it's like I set this to shut up for a reason right but um so I, I made a mention that once I hit 10k, uh, I would give something away. And I I fully intend to do so. But for those who like to uh, they only watch like the first three minutes of a video, I'm making sure oh. I get past that. Oh, you're all right. He heard one person upstairs. It's gonna go charging off and guard the door. 
<laughs> if you've never owned a corgi, this is what it's like. <laughs> but, um, so I'll talk about that in a sec, but what I want to talk about is big dreams. Not about, like, uh, YouTube is a career. I have a phenomenal career. And, and one thing that I want to share with you folks is, uh, not necessarily my career, but um, that might be a different video. One of the things that has inspired me as a child that I often think back to as an adult fish keeper, and still to this day gives me that same feeling of wonder. When I was really young, um, you know, like, I think I was between 8 and 10. It's, it's several years, but that's what pops into my mind the most. I can remember going with my mother to various fish stores, one of which, the only one that still exists is a overall pet store called Denny's Pet World. And uh, they're, in, they're in Kirkland, Washington. I, they, I grew up with that place and I love it to death. But we would go into all these different fish stores back in the time that existed. And I can remember there was the, there was like the African cichlid store that also had some community fish, but their big thing was they were the place where all the African cichlids were. And there was the, the, the one, the koi oriented place, this, right. Each kind of had its own little flavor and that doesn't really exist nowadays. I'm very lucky and then I'm in an area with lots of local fish stores, but I can remember going into these places and it, we had this big 125 gallon, tank in our living room that was a uh, family community tank and other than having angelfish had to be had to have angelfish that's a family thing it always has been uh i got to pick out the rest of the fish that went in the tank and uh i can remember some some of my choices which uh which, you know, in hindsight, not, not necessarily best, but like green and regular tiger barbs that I bought from that African fish, cichlid fish store that I told you about. I can remember walking through the store and looking at, looking at books of African cichlids and thinking how crazy they were and, and reading about how you got to do all this stuff with the water. And, and we, our Seattle water is so, so soft, it takes a lot of work to keep them. I don't let this siren finish, apparently, geez. But um, going going in and getting those tiger bars and taking them home to my tank that had longfin zebra dangos in it and uh, and and neon tetras <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, just but every time I'd walk into a fish store, there was, like, the sense of peace and amazement and... And wonder at something that was it was different. Like I, I've had all sorts of things. I've had ferrets. I've had snakes, lizards, a corgi, <laughs> various dogs, mostly herding dogs. I love herding dogs. Collies, corgi now, um, cats, birds, several different types of birds, um, mice, rats, hamsters, a guinea pig. I've had a menagerie. I've had a home zoo. Uh, at, at one time, it literally was a zoo. We had so much different things. Uh, but we would go to pet stores, and the thing that I went to the most, even when I wasn't keeping fish, even when I got to high school and college and uh, had no longer been keeping fish for a while, I would always go in the fish section. Always. And even if it was stuff that I had had before, stay out of that. He's getting in stuff he's not supposed to because he knows dad's busy. Little butt. <laughs> um, I was just, I would always go in and always be in wonder. And I can remember the first time I ever saw aquatic plants in the early 90s and thought to myself, like, that's got to be so hard. And now I look at the tank behind me and it's full of plants and fish that I didn't even see until I came back to the hobby. Gonna distract him. Quit digging in that. 
that sense of wonder has always been with me. Even when I go into a fish store now as an adult and a, a grizzled veteran aquarist, there is still always that, what am I going to see this time that I haven't seen before? What am I going to stop and stare at? What's going to catch my eye this time that maybe I overlooked the last time I was here? Or what makes this fish store special? Why is it stood the test of time? Or why did this person open the store when many have gone out of business? What makes them different, unique, interesting? I always have that sense of childlike wonder. And in YouTube, I get an opportunity to share it. I mean, you guys, you guys know my passion for rainbow fish. Uh, I, every time I get, whether it's a new fish or new babies from a fish, uh, when I, when I can have the time to raise them correctly. I'm as giddy as I was the first time I had a five gallon glass lemonade container full of fancy guppies put into my bedroom by my dad. Or the, the first time I ever got to pick fish for the home fish tank and know that those were my fish in the big tank with everything else. It was always a incredibly special feeling that to this day still influences me. And I hope helps you guys understand why I love this hobby the way I do and why getting to talk with it about it yeah about it <laughs> can you believe that I worked at radio at one point getting to talk about it with you and this little little dog <laughs> always feels amazing whether it is a view that, you know, a video that got 10 views to the, the very first time my channel was monetized. I remember talking with my uncle in eastern Washington during a holiday. And uh, it was like, yeah, so, so I've been told you're doing this, the YouTube thing. It's like, yeah, I, I do it for fish. It's like, is that so? It's the thing my, my uncle has always done. I remember back to when I was a kid. That's that one time where it's kind of half approving and half like, are you sure about this? You know? But deep down, he always approves. It's the best part about him. And uh, I remember going, yeah, you know, I uh, it, it just kind of started. So it, it takes a while before you ever actually make any amount of money. I was like, I, I think I my my best video so far has made two dollars and he kind of kind of laughed a little bit I said you know but that's not the part that matters to me the part that matters is i get to talk about something i love share it with people who love the same thing and share some of my knowledge expertise little things i've learned with people who always want to do better at keeping little fish in glass tanks and you know he used to he used to have with his wife my aunt they used to have African cichlids so he understood so that's really cool you know I've my parents they've always been pretty cool with it because we we've kept fish forever you know I've my great grandmother Grace used to breed angelfish way 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 back Back in the the olden times, like the fifties. So, being able to do this, being able to live stream once a week with you folks, is and Papa Limo apparently. 
has been an immense joy and honor. So, uh, thank you. I don't know any way other to say it than to just kind of have a unfiltered fish non fish moment with you guys. Now, for those that stayed 20 ish minutes into this video, here's your chance to win something. A little gift of appreciation from me to you. Um, how to enter. Very simple. In the comments down below. You either have to tell me who bred angelfish in my family. Or when. Well, it's like a myriad of answers. Yeah, I'll do the usuals like that little comment tells me what uh, I'll draw winners using a, a, a random generator very simple I'll put names in a list pull a random number and that'll be our winners uh, and I want to do winners I want to kind of spread the love a little bit so uh, very simple I'm going to give you a gift card to one of a couple places so I'll probably have one to dance fish I uh, definitely want to aquarium co-op. Maybe even two. I haven't decided how many I'm giving away. But there will be rules when I edit this down below. Uh, just to tell you. But basically each one of those is going to be 50 bucks. 50 good old American pesos. As I like to call them. Uh, that's my thank you. Now for those of you who are international, don't worry. Uh, one of these will be an Amazon gift card available to those outside the United States because I know a lot of these, uh, you know, local local fish businesses, some not so local to me, like Dance Fish, but ones that I love interacting with. Um, you know, you can't <laughs> buy from them because they're outside the United States, but we'll do one for Amazon. So we'll do uh, Aquarium Co-op, Dance Fish, uh, Later in the future, we'll give away something with uh, Redfish, Bluefish. Right now, he's uh, he's busy doing some cool stuff. Once that's all done, then we'll we'll do something fun with him too. But uh, so we'll do Dance Fish, Aquarium Co-op, and Amazon. So three might even give away a bonus. You never know. Uh, so pay attention to the description. That'll tell you how to enter. Make sure you do so. I will uh, draw the winners uh, in one week. So make sure you've watched this video within the first week it comes out. That's how you enter. That's how you win. Uh, until then, I hope to see you guys in the Tuesday live streams. If you've enjoyed like little uh, segue moments like this, do the usual YouTube. Junk, like, comment, subscribe. I don't care about that part. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all for an amazing three years. And I hope many more. A massive, massive thank you to all of the members, whether it is through YouTube or Patreon, for your additional support. It is totally unnecessary, but it is well-beloved. And there's uh, some awesome member content coming to give you some sneak peeks into the project that is coming. As always, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome. Oh, did you think I was done? Well, my friends, we are not done yet. We'll go full radio voice. Or a little weird. You can just like start singing all sorts of weird registers. Members, you get something special. For members, any one of the emotes, add that to your comment. 
I'll do a special drawing for members only. For a super secret prize. Trust me. It's worth it. It'll be international, so it doesn't matter whether you're in the U.S. or not if you're a member. My friends, this one's for you. As always, stay awesome.